Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the Compaq LTE Elite 4 slash 75 CXL. Now this one I got in a pile of, or in that part of computer parts I bought. Yeah, I've got a funny taste in my mouth. Anyway, as I was saying, I got this in that pile of computer parts I bought earlier in the year. Um, I had no hard drive, but I did find one similar model on eBay for a good price. I still had hard drive in. I just happened to have a working operating system on it as well. So, should we do the tour of the outside? The casing on this has definitely seen better days. As you can see, there's lots of marks and scratches and here's the front view that's the hard drive that's the floppy disk drive which I'm not even sure if it works or not and that's where the battery is supposed to be but the clip that holds it in on that far side has broken and it just kept sliding straight out so I left the battery out for that reason um, we have a memory upgrade that was also on the other laptop so I sl um, slung it in this one I've still got the other one in bits in the cupboard <laughs> yeah that's the memory upgrade module um, I can't remember what I upgraded it to now back, back in uh, on the back again you've got two options you've got that to slide open, which I presume, I don't know what that slot's for, is it for a docking station or something? Or you can just flip the whole panel down. As usual, we've got the printer parallel port, VGA port, serial port. We've got two power connectors. As you can see, it's got a figure eight connector. This can be connected straight to the mains without the need for a um, power adapter. Um, I'm not sure what that's for, I'm not sure what the voltage is on that one, it doesn't say. Uh, there's nothing on this side, apart from the release button for the battery. On this side, we've got, I'm not sure what that is, I think it's for a number pad from the look of it, if that symbol is right. But we've got a sort of PCI type slot in there to... Upgrade. Something smells hot. Oh well. Yeah, release button for the hard drive. So, bring those legs down so it's not looking at yet. Go ahead and plug this cable in. already turning on. I forgot this thing does that. Now, one thing I like about this model is it's got a mouse ball here, it's got a trackball, and the mouse buttons are on the back there. So the idea is you'd put two fingers on the buttons like that and your thumb on there, and that would be how you'd use it. Yep, again, this is on Windows 95, just like the IBM. We've got a screen brightness control slider on here. There's your power button. Not sure what they are. Oh, yeah, caps lock and whatnot indicators. Um, I don't think this one's got audio installed on it either. Mm -hmm. Do excuse me. That works well, that ball, look. See? It'll take some getting used to to get used to that bloody thing. If I remember correctly, most laptops from this sort of era were mostly aimed at businesses. If I remember correctly. Right. Start. It's actually 
quite sensitive, that ball. Oh, oh clicked on the wrong, nearly clicked on the wrong thing. Let's see. 20 megabytes of RAM, let's go. I have no idea what the processor is, it doesn't say. Um, it's got a corporate license, so does that mean it was um, a business laptop as well? in its past life. Mm. Yeah, not a lot on the desktop. My briefcase, I don't think... I think I went through and deleted anything I could find that was like a personal file or anything like that. Microsoft Access, Microsoft Binder, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Word. Yep, I've got a feeling this was used as a business sort of laptop. Glad to know. This is, doing these videos has actually given me an excuse to power them all up and make sure they all still all function. Just what I want to click on, actually. Clicked on it unintentionally. There we go. Shut it down. Yay. Yep. The case is a bit battered, but the only reason I've kept it is because A, it works, and B, it's not a common laptop. I haven't seen many of these on eBay. find some accessories for this age. You don't seem to find many docking stations. In fact, I've only got one. And that's going to be used in... Oh, I'm going to do the next video on that one if I can find it. I don't know where the adapter is. I just can't remember where the laptop is. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to thumb up the video if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.